Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play King's Bounty The Dark Side, the latest of the King's Bounty series. For those of you who do not know King's Bounty series, it's an RPG with turn-based and real-time strategy elements, and it's extremely good. That's the reason I'm bringing it to you. So, we start a new game, and you can choose between three races. As you see at the races, this is the dark side because we're playing the evil guys. Yes, no kidding, we're really the evil guys this time. We can choose between a warrior, some leader type, and a mage, as the colors indicate. And of course, they're different races. This time, I'll go for the orcs because I promised that to my advisor and most trusted mentor, Slick Rounder. And I will call myself the German name for a rabbit, which is a Hase. So, let's move it. Watch the wonderful drawings. So, this is the real time map. You can move around here, and the enemy will sometimes try to follow you up to a certain point so but there's no stress there is no mines you have to defend no castles you have to protect this is a game free of stress so this is the day and night circle very important because sometimes uh, items or troops work better with good uh, with daylight or with the night depends on your troops and that normally for example prefer um, darkness and night. That is your money, good for buying items, information, troops and so on. This is rage, as a special resource that can be used in battle to do special actions. Uh, mana, well, for casting, our face, our name, our level, our experience bar, our leadership. Leadership is important for the handling of the army. By most games you know your army is limited either by the money you can invest or by the number of troops available. In King's Bounty both of these um, things occur and a third, the leadership. You cannot have more troops than you have leadership per stack. For example, if one goblin costs 10 leadership, you can have up to 20 goblins with 200 leadership. If one orc costs 100 leadership, you can have two orcs for 200 leadership. You can split these two orcs into two groups by one orc or you can put them together in one troop of two, but that's the only way that works. So it's not really wise to split up troops normally, I say normally, but more to that later. Um, this is the minimap. Green is good, red dots are not good, and this is digging. That means uh, you can dig a hole. That is no point of sexual harassment or any intent of that. It's just drilling for... Um, no, that's also uh, misunderstandable. It's just looking for treasure. So that is Agutsk Big Axe. I'm badly wounded, Bagger, I'm dying. The orcs lost their last battle. Our chief Sorgo fell on the field. You must leave and lead the remnants of the troops away. There is an old mine at the foot of the old mountain which you can go through to enter the dwarven kingdoms. I don't think that dwarves like orc, but who cares? I don't be able to go that far. Abandon me here and lead your party to the old mountain. I'll tell the shaman to pick you up and heal you. Thank you, Bagger. Call on the shaman and then lead your troops your party along the shore to the gold mountain and one more thing bagger take my scimitar it's of no more use to me but it may help you good luck bagger don't be sad Atsuk. the chairman will heal you i'll have to go and we get an item that brings us to items and the hero screen we have an attack defense and intellect stats we add the first two to our troops Every point of attack, you see the troops have attack and defense values as well. Normally this guy has 6, thanks to our bonus he has 7. If we equip the item with plus 1, he has attack 8. Every point of attack above the enemy's defense gives you 10% more damage. Every point of defense above the enemy's attack gives you 5% less damage to be taken. Initiative means the combat order when your troops are acting. It's like chess, it's turn-based when it goes to combat. I like that very much. Speed is your movement on the battlefield. Two is not very much. Critical hit is maximum damage and bleeding effect. That is new. In the old King's Bounty series, critical damage means you do extensive damage. This is only maximum damage and bleeding. Uh, that is your damage and your damage type. Very important. Don't try to hit ghosts with physical damage. It will not do much good. And their health points. And this is the leadership. As this weapon here gives 10% less leadership cost, the real leadership cost of this guy is 50. 
That is the moral, the higher the better. This is their race. Orcs don't like uh, Vikings, lizards and hate the light. The light, for example, will hate the undead. The undead, for example, will hate the light and so on. These are the talents. Some of the troops have special talents, some have not. Some have precursors for the talents. For example, this guy needs adrenaline. Adrenaline is a resource only available to orcs. They get that for fighting and then they can perform special actions. They have a lot of different abilities besides that, but more to that when we get to that. That is an orc, for example. He has much more leadership, but he has much more life points as well. And he has different talents and more damage. But he's quite the same speed. These are the awards. As this is a tips and tricks video as well, I want to point out that the awards are extremely important and powerful. You must find out which of the awards are most suited to you and the ones that you want to get the fastest. For example, this one here is extremely good because it gives you more experience per battle. So I think it's better to run around, discover chests and treasures until you've got this metal to maximum and then start the real fighting. Same goes with uh, prisoners. Try to take prisoners as fast as possible can do that more effectively by this one, by this skill. And try to win battles without losses because that counts for this award. There are many awards, as you can say, and each one of them or most of them are extremely useful. Some of them are more useful to mages, some of them are more useful to warriors, but more to them when it comes to it. This is our hero and these are the slots for his equipments. As you can see, he can wear two weapons or a weapon or a shield. If you're playing a demoness or if you're playing a vampire, this item configuration will be different. They will only be able to use one weapon, therefore they will be able to use more magical items. Where we can only use, for example, one belt, they may be able to use um, a belt and something else. But each of them will only have one helmet, I assure you. You can get people that help you. Um, in the old games that were wives or Bannerman, I think here they're just people that are carrying your stuff for you and giving you some bonuses. That brings us to your army. You have five slots and you have two reserve slots. So you can have troops in your reserve slots for the uh, possibility that you lose troops you can fill up or you can change can spap troops if you're fighting a special enemy. For example, you're fighting ghosts, it's good to have priests and inquisitors, and then you just put them in. These are the runes. Runes can be obtained either by leveling, or by uh, quests, or by finding them lying around in chests, or simply lying around. As you can see, there's three still skill trees, might, mind, and magic. Of course, we are the warrior, our might tree is the fullest and the others are a little bit short. If we're playing a vampire for example we will have more skills here for more and therefore this will be missing. When we level up as a warrior we'll get a hell of a lot of red runes, not so much green runes and very little blue runes. So this tree will be the hardest to level up, this will be the second hardest and that will be more easy. I advise you to go for the green tree as soon as possible because this here will give you the best bonuses for the beginning. This will give you traps on the battlefield which corresponds wonderfully with this award here. The award will rise quicker and you can get bonuses to your troops and to your fights early on. So this is the tree you should level up first. That brings us to magic. You see, there is order magic, distortion magic, and chaos magic. You can only learn spells and put them in your spell book if you have these skills. Without these skills, scrolls are just single use. They cannot be put into your spell book. At the moment, we have two spells in our spell book, haste and slow. And we can only cast them at level 1 since we do not have this to level 2. Well, we are lucky that we have the spells at all because we cannot learn any spells at the moment. We have no magic skill. No distortion, no order, and no chaos skill, and we have no crystals to put them into our uh, spell book. The higher or the more dangerous the spell, the more crystal it costs. 
So, he's not talking anything more. I'm dying, Burger. Looks like I'll never see the next moon. Hold on, I think I'll inform the shaman about you, and he'll go back on you, and he'll get you back on your feet in no time. See, this guy's coming here. He's an elf, and enemy troops. The swords are clashing. They say weak. They do not say us anything more because we do not have the skill of scouting. With the skill of scouting, we see what we're up against. This little guys here have a grappling hand when you get over them. They want to join us. Furious goblins, wonderful. So let's see what happens. See that? He has seen us. He's crawling, and he's trying to get us. And we're outmaneuvering him. And as you can see, he lost us. There's another one ready for the grab. An orc veteran. Just for you to see. Veteran orc, 126 leadership, 130 life points. Yeah. If you think now that small troops are less useful than big ones, you're wrong. The small ones do more damage per leadership than the big ones. Therefore, the big ones don't die that easily. There's something to talk to. Is that you, Burger? I'm glad that you're alive. When you go, take the guys who are getting prepared to fight off the elves near my inn. Go to the dwarves quick, and may good luck attend to you on your way. I will wait until you return with backups. The elves must find their death in Tristram. That sounds a lot like Tristram Shandy, which is a book that I read some time ago. Thank you, Grumpf. You see this golden thing? That is when I'm pressing D for um, make a hole in the ground and look for treasure. Ah, uh, here's seen as we're just outmaneuvering them. I advise you to train that maneuvering because it is important to get to chests without fighting. Another one who wants to join. Yay, more goblins. Hello, Bagir. You've come to leave. You've got to leave. Hide in the forest or in the mountains. Your best option is to reach the Dwarven Kingdom. They've maintained neutrality for years, so you will feel safe there. The entrance into the catacombs that will lead you to the Dwarves is at the foot of the old mountain where the mine used to be. So you see, this now is not only shining and has two comets around, that means a quest is either ending here or that is a step of a quest. So always look out for this ones. Brabak, you've got to help Asgurs. He's gravely wounded. I go to find the word wounded Akrats, drag him down into my home and cure him with my omens. Don't worry, Bagir. You've got to leave. Good luck, Bagir. I've come back with reinforcements and free Tristram. Of course you will. I believe you, Bagir. You've always been an honest and courageous orc. I suggest you visit Drak, the mountain troll on the way, warn him about the tragedy of Tristram and take him to the dwarves with you. I'll be back, Shaman. Wait for me. And we get a level up! Yay! Hooray! Because we've done our first quest. We get 5-5-2. Five, five, so you see very little blue runes. And 30 leadership, which means we can have more troops in our army. So, we buy the power of the spirit first, because we want to go to this one, to get the traps. This is not possible in the beginning. 11 green... But this, three more green runes, that should be possible. So there's nothing here. Some more goblins there. Now we have 15 of them. That's not really an army, but it'll do. Hydra's nine. Oh, one more of them on the way. One more of them to outmaneuver. And as you can see, you can outmaneuver enemies even on a small scale, uh, on, on small room. There is an orc. See that? Garrick the troll and his sons live in this mountain. Hello, Beggy. What's the noise? Hoop hoop. And smoke down there. The elves attacked Tristram and crushed us. Come with me. I'm taking the remnants of my troops away to the dwarves. I don't think the dwarves like you, but who cares? I'm an old troll. And I'm not leaving my house to go anywhere. I don't think the elves will get me. Go without me, bugger, and be sure to return with backup. Show me what you have to trade, crack. And we get another level up. And you see more red runes than green runes than blue runes. And he sells us orcs. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. He also sells trolls, which take 1,100 leadership. 
and are far more expensive than we can pay. And he sells a Jotun, which is even more expensive for leadership. So, and two items, defense and a warlock helmet. But I'm going for this one. Ha <laughs> ha, I like orcs. So, here we go. I think it's time. Who? Point. So, as you can see, we can only buy two of those now. We could go this for Chaos Magic, which is nice. One mana per round. Or we can go for this. Or we can go for this. We are an Orc. So normally green magic suits us most. But I think this time five yeah I take this one because we'll need our green runes so this two are out of the picture we take that one and here we could get rage control but at the pro at the moment the main problem is that we do not have any rage um, ability because we're missing the range cr rage creature you need a creature to control that rage and we do not have that creature at the moment So, so we're not using that. We're doing something different. You will call me nuts in a moment. We will take two of those into battle because we do not need their fighting power. We need their ability to loot the dead. We need money. Look at this. We're at zero, nearly zero gold. We have 620 and I want to buy the items. So I'm taking, I'm switching this into two groups. Leave the hyenas out of the battle. They're not that good anyway. And then we'll try to loot as many enemies as we can. And here's the fight. Okay, this is very bad because they have a ranged fighter. So... I'll try something. I'm not sure if it's working. The problem is that range fighter can ruin it all in no time. Simply because this guy can do fire on us. He can fire his arrow. Look at the attack bonus. When you watch an enemy in battle, this allows you to find their weak spots, inflicting critical damage. Yes, this guy can shoot us into pieces in no time. See, he has already got enough adrenaline to activate his ability once. And we cannot wait, because if you wait with goblins or with orcs, they lose their special ability. This is bad, because if he starts holding, which he normally does... There goes our first goblin, that means... No... Uh... No battle without losses for us this time. Okay, we must kill that guy somehow. Yeah, they're faster than we are. Oh, great. He feared us. Perhaps he goes for the trap. Yes, he does. Well, at least we've got a trap kill. She is calling in thorns. He's using up his special ability, which is totally nuts. Okay, I've got an idea what to do. But we must get rid of this guy there first hand. So he is nearly dead. I could kill her, but I better go here and leave the killing to others. 
Very good. Okay. Good work. I hope she's not... Yes, yeah, she's putting our troops to sleep. Excellent. But we're not yet beaten. Kill that guy. He will counterattack, but we will strike again. Perfect. This will be a problem after some time. So, you will simply do nothing. And you will start looting. Can I get this up? Okay, you start looting. I need loot. Yay, we're getting somewhere. So, you will do nothing, you will just move around. Wonderful, yes! She makes us more guys that we can kill, so more loot for us. Take him down. Uh oh. Very bad idea. Kill it. So, you will now start getting me more debt. That is not exactly what I wanted. So I haste you. Ugh, miserable. Miserable. Yes, excellent. Can you get me more out of this? Yes, excellent. And you will simply try to block their way so that they're not killing any more of my guys. Okay, this could be a, a problem. I do not want to lose any more. It is not that bad, actually, because, to be honest, we already lost one goblin, and so this will... Ah, uh, we do not have enough... We do not have enough greed, enough adrenaline to loot once more. And I have no spell. Plus 10%. Hmm. So, no, 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 we're not risking it, we're killing that bitch, excuse me, oh, we miss, they have a special ability, they can go away, try to evade our attack, thank you for attacking the orc, who will do nothing, you will run for your life, she will counterattack. I have six life points. She does one to three damage, so she will not be able to kill us. Come on. Good work. And done. Not perfect, far away from perfect, because we lost one goblin. That means this battle does not count against our medal of no losses. But as you can see, we have made 2,100, well, we have made about 1,500 golds, which will allow us to buy those two items. And no more orc, because we have no more leadership. So... Yay! Defense plus four! Isn't that wonderful? And yes, it is, it is flawed. I'm normally a perfect player, 
well, I, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to be perfect, which means I'm always trying to get the maximum out of it. So normally you would load and do the battle again and try to f uh, fight it without losses. But the problem is they have a bowman and there is nearly no ability or no possibility with an orc army to fight against archers at this setting without losing a troop because I have no spells to keep him from fighting uh, from firing and I have no troop that can reach him in time so now our mana is back up and we attack that guy and hope he has no sharpshooter no he has no sharpshooter he has this thing and that is a ranged fighter and a new unit we do not know to this point it's a faun. We know founts, but this faun seems to be a little bit stronger than the one we know. So, tell you what, if we go there and do that once more, and then we do this. And then, yes, we could go here and hit him, but we'll step on our own trap and then we will get killed by our own trap. And we do not want that to happen. All we want to do is we want to stop this guy here from doing anything stupid like firing on us. The problem is he would probably be firing anyway because he can move away quite fast. So I have one last hope. Hope's gone. Those little guys here are flying, so they will not fall for our trap. They cannot walk into traps. Oh boy, we're in trouble. You ask why? Very, very simple. This guy has just put our guy to sleep. That means he can now do this nightmare which does very big damage to units that are sleeping. We could try to kill him, but I assure you that will not work. We're not doing even closely enough damage. He can hold that, he's an orc, don't panic. He can hold that easily. So, is he a shooter or not? He's a shooter. Oh, perfect. This is just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay, you do me a favor and kill him, okay? Yes! Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, 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 very good. I have three movement points. So I will walk here, I will haste myself, I will go there, and please take him down. Good work! And you're still too slow to do anything useful to me. I hope they're all get for the orc, because the orc can take the damage. The orc can take the damage. And he is healing. Oh, great. How long can you take that? You can take that a hell of a lot longer than they can take it. Yes! That's the double move of the Orc Veteran. Yes! Fear the Orc Veteran! Fear the Orc Veteran! 580 gold, that was totally worth it. I can loot right away? No. I could go here and loot. Am I a greedy bugger? No. Because better have the adrenaline and not need it. Yeah, I can't shoot anyone. I do not want to kill her because she is my 
my assurance that the battle will go on without any losses, hopefully. Yeah, you can do that against the, against the Orc anytime. So, dig for gold. Wonderful. And smash. Oops. That was not good. You will wait. You will try to get to the battlefield. Oh yes, attack that one. That's good. Because receiving damage also gives adrenaline. Ah, uh, crap. So, my turn, my loot. There is no way to do the trap thing at the moment because, as you might suggest, both of these units are soaring. They cannot be hit by traps. Traps only work on earthbound enemies. Wonderful. Thank you for doing that. That is kind. You wait. You wait. You loot. Ah. Good work. You loot. Excellent. I want you to have special movement and loot the last of the... Oh crap. I blew it. Where do you think you're going, lady? Yeah, you have nowhere to go. But you can loot the last of the line. Thank you. And, yeah, why not try to kill her? Ah, miserable. This chance of um, beauty, 30% is quite good. When you look, compare that to our guy here, he has only a 10% chance to dodge. And he gets a better chance to dodge if he loses. That's not that's not good. Oh, it's for adrenaline, so that's quite okay. Unshakable, yes, he's totally happy. Because of the trophies, because of the killing, yeah, they're, they're all totally, totally nuts. And the battle is over. And we made good money. Oh, yes, we did. So there is only one of them left. To care about. I still don't understand why there are absolutely no treasures whatsoever around here. I at least thought there were some treasures, but normally there is a golden light shining up in the air when you're near a treasure, but there is nothing here, absolutely nothing. An augury, oh, if we had an augury in our army, we would be totally, totally happy, trust me. We need one more mana. We'll have that in a moment. And here we go. Mm, oh, 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 you are a fast one. Oh, boy. Okay, how do I get you where I need you? That could be a problem because they might be able to shoot at me. Ah, oh, crap. I blew it. Perfect. Go for the big guy. The 
question is, this guy here does 3 to 5 damage, but he has so high attack values compared to my defense values that he will do more than enough damage to kill one of my guys. We need adrenaline here. But if I fire on anyone, I will kill him, and that is totally not my intention. Because I need the killing for my goblins for my furious goblins yeah oh crap they do the sleep thing that is bad sleeping thing is bad sleeping thing is very bad yes that's my boy ah oh. Okay, maybe I can get this guy into a trap. Not that I had any idea how to do that at the moment. Okay, um... Hmm. <laughs> good question, good question. I want to keep him away. Very good. Well to be expected. You go there. So perhaps we can maneuver him somehow into the trap. That would be good. If you do this holding thing now, that would be extremely bad. So why am I standing here? Well, because I want to block his way to the enemy. I'm even thinking about... Uh, it will not work. We could slow our own unit to try to keep him from getting into the trap because if he steps into the trap and it's more likely than he that he will, then we are in real trouble. And the trap is blocked. Perfect. Uh, we cannot go on the trap, so we will wait. Whoa! Uh, we will not kill this. Oh, we, no, we will not kill this guy. That would be dumb. And you will not do anything stupid. Well, not what I intended, but okay with me. You will go here to block this guy from doing anything stupid. Don't kill it. Keep it cool. We better block the way that he does nothing stupid. Okay. Very good. Take the gold. Get some extra movement. You do nothing. You go there and take the gold. Wonderful. You could walk on the trap. That would be okay for me. Ah, oh, crap. For crying out loud. That was totally unnecessary. Punk. Perhaps we can get something good out of this. So, tell you what, I give you a slow. 
Perhaps he walks into the trap now. No. He refuses to be a good guy, and if we're any unlucky, he will die because of the bleeding, and we don't want that to happen, so we accept the loss and be happy with the money. That was unnecessary. That was totally unnecessary. Very, very bad controlling by me. So if we look at the awards, we have only one battle won instead of three, which would be possible. And we have only one trap kill instead of three, which would be co possible. The money is good at the moment. Enemy troops on the arena. Oh, well, of course, because the trap trap is a spell, so that counts on that one also. Prisoners taken three. Nothing here. Elven army is destroyed, no wonder. Enemy set on fire, poisoned or frozen? Two? Yes, because a trap also poisons, so... That is my saying, trap, trap, trap is your friend. Go for traps. Yes, we lost the gobos. That was bad. That was not perfect. But my device or my advice in doing that play is no loading, no saving. That's the way how we do it. And that's the way how it is meant to be. So yes, I could have loaded a lot of times and then we would have no losses and would be totally happy. But I will not do that in this game. You're finally safe. The entrance to the safety of the Dwarven Underground must be near. Suddenly something flashes in the dirt underneath. You investigate and unearth an amulet of some sort. You wonder where it came from. You receive a Cloth of Darkness amulet. Plus 5% experience, plus 5% leadership. Excellent! It is welcome. And these are the catacombs. And more of that later. See you then. Bye!